It was President Barack Obama who succinctly stated, we live in a complex world and at a challenging time. Add in the complexity of having a parent or spouse involved in the criminal justice system, and some might say that's a recipe for severe hardship. Tammy Butler Fluitt's son is all too familiar with what it's like to have an incarcerated parent. In part, that experience has led her to more than two decades in the human services field, helping those in our community impacted by parental incarceration. Her nonprofit, Samaritan Center of Excellence, is a direct resource for women in recovery from substance abuse and those involved in the criminal justice system. Tammy Butler Fluitt, the founder and executive director of Samaritan Center of Excellence, joins me to explain how her focus on empowerment and peer to peer services is providing women and their families a second chance. She's joined by certified peer specialist Christina Golnick and volunteer Amy Karlnowski, both from the Samaritan Center of Excellence. And welcome to all of you. I appreciate you being here. Thank, Thank you. you. So I want to begin by giving our viewers just a little bit of an understanding as to how challenging and difficult it can be for people to find their footing when they're in recovery and after they've been involved in the criminal justice system. So can you explain that and, and why that can be so challenging? And I'll give that to you, Tammy, to begin. So I, I first want to first thank you all for having us on the show. And uh, before I start, I want to open up the floor to Chris and Amy to uh, share, if they can, their experience, because I believe there's voice and uh, people who've actually gone through this experience themselves. Um, and as we begin to reduce the stigma, there's also there's a beauty in sharing that there is hope faith and strength uh, as they move through the process of uh, recovery itself. Yeah. Amy, do you want to begin? Sure. So I am a recovering opiate addict. Uh, I'm currently in drug court and on probation. So I am definitely in the system and um, I have the ability now that I'm working with Tammy and interning with her to see both sides of it, um, what I've gone through and also how I can relate that to the community and help other women specifically in the community. So it's a great uh, opportunity for me and I'm really excited about it. I am a recovering alcoholic and I spent a good number of years of um, struggling and battling the disease on my own, using 12-step programs, um, doctor visits, constant conversations with my children and, and, and families, and I didn't hide it from anybody. I just was finding it uh, extremely difficult to put it in perspective. And in, in 2012, I found myself behind bars and uh, four adult children who felt as though that was the best place for me at the time. And when I came out, um, finding some place to go was um, next to Im impossible. I didn't know where to go. Start with certain systems, and I've had mentors, and uh, one of them directed me to the Samaritan Center of Excellence, where I found compassion, I found direction, encouragement. Right off the bat, Tammy noticed some of my skills and suggested that maybe I take on this, and maybe I take on tutoring possibly directing, you know, some organization, tell my story. And the more I did that, the more I recognized that, like Amy said, there's two sides to this, and I could wear my experience with pride, good pride. And uh, I heard about this peer movement. And again, through Tammy's direction and SERPA training and coach training and mentoring training, next thing you know, I have a certification in peer specialist. And I work with Tammy at the Samaritan Center with people who have needs or challenges that I might be able to address. Tammy, at what point did you see that there was a gap in our community for these services? Because you said, Christina, that it was, it was hard to find no your needs and to have those needs met. So how, what helped you to see there is a severe need for this right now? I think one of the things that um, I noticed, particularly uh, at a very early time when my son had a, a father who was incarcerated, is that where do you go? Who do you turn to? And who do you talk to? Oftentimes there is a stigma and no one wants to talk about the shame of having a parent incarcerated. And so understanding that if my son is going through this and as a parent I'm going through this, imagine all of 
of the other mothers who may be incarcerated and all the other children who may be struggling with this stigma, what they may be feeling, and how can I provide some support and some resources to those families or caregivers uh, during that time. And so I said, can I be a voice or a light um, in, in the community for that support? And so that's what I kind of sought out to do at that time, uh, provide some hope, some encouragement, um, and some resources. So what happens when an individual gets connected to the Samaritan Center of Excellence? When is, are they referred, or can they can they just walk in if someone says walk to them, right in, this is a place right where, so they can walk right, right in, absolutely. and when they walk through those doors, what happens? So I think what is special about the Samaritan Center and Tammy's vision specifically is there are a lot of places in Rochester where you can get outpatient counseling. Um, there's certainly AA and NA, and there's a lot of different places to get different kinds of help. Um, but at the Samaritan Center, Tammy focuses on the whole person, um, nutrition and um, mental health uh, counseling. She'll get you set up with that. Um, she can connect you with anybody in the community to offer those specific services, but her focus is on the whole individual. So we want to help every aspect of somebody's life, not just one aspect. We want to help them make better choices and we want to walk with them as they start to make those better choices and stick with them throughout the, the length of it, not just a in and out type of thing. And Amy, having been, as you mentioned, on both sides, how do you see that all of these different facets of your vision, Tammy, how do you see how they can all work together to really help somebody on their journey moving forward? Sure. So from what uh, I have spoke to Tammy at length about and what I know about the history of the Samaritan Center, she has found a specific place to insert herself into somebody's life. And when she finds a woman that has needs um, that need to be met with services, is. She believes that helping that woman, that mother, that will then carry on to the rest of the family, which is a really great concept because there are a lot of places where we can help people, but she has both the compassion, the know-how, and a specific place of entering somebody's life to then trickle down to the other people in the family, which is really a great concept. And she follows through with it. So, how And how do you do that? Because that, I would imagine that that takes a level of trust too, that takes trust on the part of the person to, to be able to open themselves up. How do you make that connection to really have that positive ripple effect then? I think one of the uh, ways that I'm able to do that is helping people to understand that um, I've been through a lot of the struggles uh, that they have been through. Oftentimes people look at me and go, you know, you, you don't know where I've come from or you don't know what I've been through. And being transparent in my journey, being transparent in the things that I've gone through, whether it's trauma, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's um, relationship hurts, um, all of those things, team parenting. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm i transparent and sharing. I'm, I'm the executive director, but I'm also human. I've also been there, done that. Um, and I am here today to show people that you can get through it. Uh, we tell this story about jumping into the hole and oftentimes we see people or individuals who are struggling and uh, my thing is if you jump into the hole when they're struggling and they go, why are you down here with me? And How, how are we both going to get out of this? And you say, well, I've been here before and I know the way out. It's going back to get someone um, when they're struggling because you've already been through that journey that you know the way out and you can help them. One thing that stood out to me when I learned about you, because I've heard about you in the community, <laughs> so it's great to be able to finally meet you. One thing I heard about was the impact of these peer-to-peer -peer services. And so, Christina, talk a little bit. I want you to kind of go into this. How is that powerful when you have that type of a connection? It doesn't seem like a service. It seems like a conversation like we're having right here. Um, make friends right off the bat. I've learned through Tammy's direction and mentoring to oh, ask an op open-ended questions. What can I do for you? What is it you're looking to achieve? Um, rather than direct, receive, and um, go with it that way. Uh, first time I ever walked in, there's a peace and serenity that, that is there. And as Amy mentioned, there are a lot of places to go for services in Rochester, and I have been into a number of them, either for services or to offer my services. And very clinical feeling in a lot of places, and, and no negativity there in a sense, but 
the direction of sign in, get your insurance card out, and do. And when you walk into the Samaritan Center, it's almost like you've walked into your own backyard. And there are activities going on, and always someone to greet you. That's another thing I've noticed is there's always someone there to say, hi, how are you? What can we do for you today? Or first name basis as soon as they've met you. And so the peer-to-peer -peer specialist that I feel is um, my talent comes from, again, the experience of having been there, done that. And when people look at me, you know, the first thing they don't think I've been through an awful lot. Uh, once you clean yourself up and get out there, you know, and it's hard to believe that I did go through that, but I did, and it was for a purpose. It was so that I can share my experience, strength, and hope with other women or men and let them know that there are mentors, there are ways out, positive attitude, um, find someone you can connect with. And uh, I've continued to work in that fashion. I'm, in, you know, employed. You know, six years ago, I was still looking. And, and, and here we are today, sitting around this table, right. enjoying the fruits yeah. of perseverance. That's one of the things that Tammy taught me too. I have a little, she's persisted. Yeah, and right. uh, that right. helps um, continue that journey. I think, it, with it. I think it's so important what you touched on is the word connection. Mm -hmm. I've received services everywhere in Rochester throughout my addiction. And when I walked into the Samaritan Center, Tammy instantly cared about what was going on with me in my life. And every day that continues. She never doesn't have time for me. Mm -hmm. um, and she never doesn't have time for anybody. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of places out there to get services. And sometimes people are just doing their job. Sometimes people do go the extra step. Tammy always goes the extra step. And that's what inspires me. Um, I've done some research for her. I'm an intern, so I'm kind of all over the place and do different things. I'm, I'm good at, at that stuff. I'm good at the book stuff. What I want to achieve is figuring out how to make that connection with every single person the way that Tammy does. It's, it's just inspiring. It really is. The thing that I've noticed just in, in our conversation here is you make sure that the Samaritan Center of Excellence does not operate as a silo. You really partner with different organizations to make sure that, as you mentioned, the whole person is, is treated and, and is helped, that the whole person um, is able to, to receive whatever it is that they might need. How do you do that? And why is that so important for people to understand why you have to partner with other others of the community? So one of the uh, reasons I do that is because years ago, running and, and doing this, um, I tried to do every single thing for every single person. And I still do, and, and, <laughs> and it's hard for me to let go. But I knew that there were facets of people's areas that were very important, um, that I just did not have the expertise in. Um, but there were people in the community that had the expert, that, that were the experts, and how could I tap into that? So calling in uh, people, uh, and businesses, particularly Exercise Express, they are the experts in health and wellness. Can I please get them on board and how can I get them on board? Me Time Massage, um, those are our two biz biggest partners providing exercise, health and wellness, anxiety, stress reduction, and uh, being co-located in, in one um, building allows us to provide that support for individuals and families. So that's, that's what we do. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time, but a huge thank you to all of you for being thank here you. and for the work that you're doing thank in our you. community. You. And you can learn more about the Samaritan Center of Excellence. You can get involved, whether for services or to volunteer. Just go to swcoe.org.